I'm on the shore of the Salton Sea, the most toxic body of water in the country. With no fresh water flowing into the lake, dead fish pile up, bird bodies bury the beaches. If nothing is done, there will be an ecological disaster there. Yet people still come here for vacation. And today, I'll be one of them. I'll be evaluating the relaxation, the accommodations, the women, and of course, I'll be pissing off some locals. You know, you remind me of a schoolyard bully right now. I gotta be careful though. The water is filled with pesticides. That includes arsenic, selenium, cadmium. These are highly toxic chemicals. The beach is made of barnacles and fish bones. And the main town looks like a bum's acid trip brought to life. But I literally just landed from Mars last night. Sure. It's an environmental disaster zone, formed by a disaster. It started in 1905, when this guy planned a canal on the Colorado River. But Rockwood's plan would be one of the most catastrophic engineering decisions ever made. The canal got smoked, the Colorado River flooded the Imperial Valley, and all of a sudden you had a body of water ten times the size of Manhattan. In the 50s and 60s, they made the best of it. The Salton Sea, sportsman's paradise, the new recreational capital of the world. There were hundreds of thousands of people that visited Salton Sea, more than Yosemite National Park. But this Salton Sea was really just a massive stinky pond, getting saltier every year, and more toxic from the farmland runoff flowing in. This has led to a fish holocaust that has been real bad for tourism. As you can see, there's a string, a row here of just dead fish. The result? One potent peg-like smell. The smell was horrible. But hey, a fishy smell has never stopped me from doing anything. So come along and like the video if you wouldn't mind, as I kick back in the worst vacation spot in America, the Salton Sea. How's it going? Now, this is my kind of vacation right here. Are you on vacation? I came all the way out from Los Angeles. Oh, so far. Mm-hmm. You know, I heard a lot about the Salton Sea before I came out, but nobody spoke of the beauty of the local women. Truth. Truth. You are lovely. And you have style as well. Thank you. And I can assess style because I have it myself. Because you're wearing a banana getup. I could say the same about you. What's that? This is my banana. You have a cock? <laughs> you never know. What if I play my cards right? Maybe you might get to see it. Really? Mm -hmm. I think there's like some plywood over there we can go behind. You haven't played the cards, my friend. <sighs> All I have You're is a two and a beach. three. It's a wild and wonderful game. Uh. Yeah. How does one play the game around here? Be as weird and wonderful as you are. Weirder. Weirder. Recite a poem. Standing on the streets of Bombay Beach, I met a woman I would love to reach, both spiritually and physically. Any way I could, I would pull out my banana behind some plywood. But should? I. Oh. <laughs> May I have this dance, Mrs.? Yes. Mm. My hands are covered in grief. Ooh. A woman who's skilled with mechanics and I'm engines. I'm going to ask you to move a set of stairs, but... Where is it? Okay. Oh, you need me to prove I'm a real man? You're going to need another, another person. Oh, I got my cameraman, Kelvin. Kelvin? Yeah. Are you a stair mover? No, he's a stair mover. He's half Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> that was a horrible joke. He likes it. <laughs> I do have a pickle, so watch out. Ah, oh, Jesus. Is it a big one? We need to move that stair right there. You mind if I stretch are out you, for about 15 minutes? Up? I don't know if I'm there yet. You know, I'm on vacation. I promised myself I wouldn't work, but... And what was your name again? I don't, I, I don't think you ever introduced yourself. Your name's Fate? Yeah. My name's Destiny. <laughs> Okay, let's put it down. We did it. Fate. It's probably about time for you and I to knock back some beers, huh? Oh, absolutely. Vodka, tequila. Wow. Oh, do you want to meet my dog? I do, provided my face won't be ripped off. No, this is pajamas. 
No, oh, pajamas isn't gonna do anything. Hey, pajamas. 12 years old. Hey, pajamas, she looks great for her age. Faye, you wanna sit down? I, um... What do you think? Actually, it just hit me that I wanna read you some poems by Christine Gutierrez. The next. Grounding. Connection with the earth is such a powerful way to bring ourselves back to the present moment and to feel connected to a solid sense of reality. Wow, your eyes. I'm gonna wear your, sh your shades. And I yours. Mm -hmm. A couple choices here. I feel fate, and I know this is a controversial opinion, but I feel the touch of another can be more profound and grounding than the touch of the earth. Do you agree? Wow. I just washed my hands. I wouldn't care. <laughs> I'd still kiss you. Damn it. No. Back to the Christine Gutierrez. <laughs> There's gonna be something in here that brings down her defense. Let your soul voice communicate with you. Fate, you haven't been doing enough of that now. The cool yet counterintuitive thing about tapping into your intuition and soul voice is that it's not something you need to learn how to do. You just do it. Learning be damned. Learning be damned. Do you like books? Love them. Would you like a book? What do you got for me? This is the best book ever written. You might die tomorrow. You know, it's funny, Fate. I have a friend who always emphasizes how finite life is. If we don't know that we're gonna be here tomorrow, then by golly, why should we judge ourselves on what we do today? I think when two beautiful strangers meet, it's best to do what comes natural. Which is? I think kiss. No! <laughs> mm. That one was foolproof! That's the Leandro Tavio. You must be the most sought after woman in all of the Bombay beach. Oh, I'm sure, absolutely. There, didn't you see the line out the door? You know, it's so strange. I, I feel like Bombay Beach, maybe it's the lithium deposits. I feel like gentrification is coming in. Am I crazy? No. You're too hot to be here. Underneath the Salton Sea's toxic lake bed is an estimated 18 million metric tons of lithium. That's enough to power more than 375 million EV batteries. The Salton Sea region presents a once in a generation opportunity. Didn't you know what this place was back in the 50s and 60s? Yeah, it was a resort town. It had its dark times, but it seems like the artist community is moving in now. And what kind of artist are you? I do digital arts. And the lithium will bring jobs, and there might be sort of a, you know, a revitalization, a rebirth. It's the oldest story of time. The town becomes cheap. The artists come in. We decorate. We're weird. We're wonderful. And then the rich people come back and they say, oh, it's so decorated and interesting and wonderful. And then they raise up the prices, and then we artists must find another town on, upon which to move. Greenwich Village. Hayden Ashbury. Wow. Marfa, Texas. Is that where you're from? Uh, I, this is a Texas license plate vehicle. I was looking at something else, not the license plate. A different kind of license plate. A bumper, if you will. The camera might reveal that I was looking at your ass. Yes, babe. It, <laughs> you boys want a cold drink? Yeah, that wouldn't be so bad at all. I think it's time for me to accept my defeat when it comes to seduction. Was it the fact that I couldn't handle myself with the stairs? You fared quite well. Yeah, you but said it was a job for three men. The, and she seems ambivalent at the, moment. the dog is an indicator of whether or not you should sleep with somebody. Look, at, she has her back turned to you. I think I'm gonna slip some Vicodin into a T-bone later. Throw it down for. Change your opinion real quick. No. <sighs> you are a heartbreaker, miss. Uh -huh. And in another life, I would have had the skills to seduce you. But for now, I walk on. On your psychedelic journey. Gathered here today is a collection of souls interested in revitalizing the Salton Sea. If you ask me, it's gonna take a little bit more than this kind of powwow to do that. But at the very least, they can point me toward something I can do on my vacation. What are you guys talking about here today? We mostly do work right now uh, doing Tamaris. 
What, what, what's that removal? Tamarisk. Tamarisk. It's a very invasive species that's currently in the desert. Tamarisk isn't like an indigenous type of person, is it? No, no, no it's, it's, it's invasive. This isn't a racial cleansing? <laughs> no. Okay. Is there tamarisk out here at the Salton? There's so yeah, many. There, there, there's there's too much. a ton. Of, I agree, that tamarisk. Out there communicating by smoke signal, going, oh, 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 oh. we got to get rid of the tamarisk. <laughs> I don't think it's funny either. That's why I'm trying to put a stop to it. And that means I'm serious. Yeah. What do we do about tamarisk? It's that flowering plant you see back there. It takes up a lot of water, especially from the native plants that grow here. So we take chainsaws, we cut as low as we can. Can anybody who comes out here in the fall with a chainsaw participate? Uh, no, you have to be certified. Is there any hazing involved? No. <laughs> what about you? You're so high ranking, you don't even have to dress up. I feel like you've screwed around with these guys. You know what I'm talking about, man? Oranges in a pillowcase, whack them a couple times. Elephant walk. Mm. Who are you? Can we talk? Who are you? Uh, I'm the communications manager for this event. Um, did you speak with anybody before? Um... The odds are against you right now, buddy. You got me, you got my four friends here, all of them trained in tamarisk removal, and probably there's a chainsaw under this table. <laughs> so I'd stand down, because I'm publicizing the cause of revitalizing the Salton Sea. I'm just asking what, what, what your angle is. I don't, I'm not. Oh, my name's Daniel. You can, you can make fun of this situation, whatever you yeah. want, but make sure that no, nobody's made fun of here. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, I did greet this guy with a wet willy. No way. And I apologize, I just walked oh, up and. No, no, no. He says, don't get it. Oh. <laughs> we just want to make sure that you know, we're not making fun of Listen, people. Listen, I, I hate Tamarisk as much as you do, and I promise you that. And it is my sworn duty for the rest of the day to stomp out any Tamarisk plants I see. I'm going to go kick one down now. Be gone, Tamarisk! I banish ye! I, I, I'm not, con I'm not consenting to be well, recorded. Well, over there, there was a notification that anybody in here is consenting to be recorded. I'm gonna go down here and try to do a, yeah. I'm trying to get a win a cake or something. You just want me to stay away from the Tamarisk booth? Is that your I already, jurisdiction? I already told you what, what. You told me what? Would you mind repeating that? You can replay it. Well, that's gonna require a laptop. That bores me. I like being out in the field. For you to pay attention to what people are saying. Well, I was paying attention to the tamarisk. The tamarisk, frankly, sir, is more interesting than you. We were talking about Native Americans. The scalp of the vanquished would often be worn on the victor's headwear. Hey, everybody, so let's go. We're going to walk on the pier. So imagine that this is going out into the, into the salt sea. This is just to kind of give you an inspiration of what we can build here. And also be careful because these aren't really tied down, so they're a little bit of a, a trip hazard. But one of the biggest things here is the tamarisk tree and what the tamarisk tree is. Invasive species. Down with tamarisk. Correct. Yes. So, um, actually, we're going to get some of our UCC partners um, to talk a little bit about tamarisk. Tamarisk right here. Well, we're, as we walk, we can get the UCC people, they can help us. This is tamarisk. This is Yeah. So this is tamarisk, and um, there's some other there's some other um, um, trees that are here as well. Let's try to not be rude. There's a presentation going right now. I'm actually in charge of this event. Can you still tell me what you're doing? I'm educating the public. Creative. Shh. Some of them here I'm trying to learn. This is my event. You're being a profoundly negative influence on my education. Or, or not. And you're like my stoner buddies in middle talk school. Talk about it as Do you despise tamarisk? Um, I guess so. Hey everybody, we have some tamarisk here. Uh oh! Little, what you're seeing on your left side over here is pretty much all tamarisk, which is an invasive species. So it's very limited in what it can produce and it also sucks a lot of water out of our aquifer and our, our groundwaters. Would you encourage anybody here if they see a tamarisk plant growing to just uproot it? 
No, because it really, in order to kill it, it needs herbicide. So you wouldn't encourage somebody like him to round up a couple of his buddies and form an anti-tamarisk militia? No. What if they got good with herbicides? I just want to douse this entire green space in gasoline. Oh, Kelvin, you mind telling him we hate the tamarisk bush? Dice que no le gusta el árbol que están hablando. Mm -mm. Oh. It's muy mal, muy mal. It's uh, invasardo, eh, poisonate. Sí, sí entendió lo que le estaban diciendo ya del árbol, que no es bueno para el, no, no el área. The uh, mucho tamarisk de las morte, the guapo. Want to translate that? You shouldn't have to translate it, but... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, it's gotta die. All right, let's go back to the festival. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? How's it going, ladies? What is this testing for? COVID? COVID test. That's still a thing? Out here? I'll take one. Can you put your name here? How would you like Salt and Sea to be? I would like the Salt and Sea to flourish. Okay, okay. Well, that's what you're gonna put. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you. that. Thank you so much. Because my is poor. <laughs> it is beautiful. I understand everything you're saying. Now, this is a public health safety issue. She's been shadowing me all day, trying to interfere, okay. point her nose in my business. Okay. But this, if I don't get tested, my death could be on your hands. Okay. And the entire Salt and Sea could be liable. You don't want that kind of legal heat. Okay. I want all tamarisk cut down, piled, and burned. Okay. You okay with that? Yes. I'm part of the anti-tamarisk task force. The, the ATTF. Took me a second on that one. It's early. Let's test me for COVID. Maybe that's why my brain's foggy. Ooh, ha. <laughs> you think I look healthy? No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh, that should probably get tested then. Oh. What the hell? What's he saying? That's tamarisk. Oh, okay. Thank you. We appreciate it. Salt and sea. Long live it. It's been a hard day educating people about the evils of tamarisk. I tell you what. These are the only people I can relate to. After having seen the horrors of the battlefield, look in the enemy, tamarisk right in its eye. Nobody understands that. Nobody understands that but these people to my right. My brothers and sisters, you could call them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to make sure I'm free of COVID-19. Have you guys been ordered not to talk to me? That's silly. The Rangers out there love me because they knew I knew what I was talking about. Might be cutting a few corners here, but does that look generally right to you, Kelvin? What do you guys think about a surprise attack on the Tamarisk tonight? Come in around midnight while it's asleep in its tent. There we go. There are my brothers in Tamarisk removal. Hey, hey bro. so, yeah. They're helping people out right here? Sure, sure. Oh, of course, man. Yeah. So I just got excited. These guys feel like... Oh, of course, man. Yeah, so are we. So are we. And I just feel like I haven't seen these guys since I last saw them on the front. Sir, so you're trying to intimidate me right now, and I don't really appreciate it. We're just trying to help out too. I'm actually getting tested for COVID-19. They're spending their time. But after I mentioned you were being intimidating, you took another couple steps toward me. I'm not afraid of you when I'm faced with death by COVID. Can you just get away from their space? Get away? Yeah, from their space. You know, you remind me of a schoolyard bully right now. I don't like that. There's no glory in being a bully. I'm not trying to bully you. It's about being kind to each other. Yes. Thank you. My personal space was invaded. All right, I got a C. Is that like getting a C on a math exam? I don't know if that means I have it or don't. Why can't they just be like, yes, no? Why do they have to bring in random letters? The f some complaints about your behavior towards some of my employees here. Okay. But I am going to ask you guys to leave right now. Sure. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So then, no tickets, no nothing like that, all right? Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.
What goes on around here? There's the beach, there's, um, they have a star there and you just go out there and you hang out and stuff and go swimming. Can you wish upon that star? Um, yeah, but it's like one of the cement stars. Well, what are you doing right now? You want to show me the cement star? I don't go on it. Is it cursed? No. Be honest. I don't know. If it's cursed, we want to hear about it. I gotta go. Ah, well, it was nice meeting you. Take care. I'm on vacation, baby. I'm loving life. Danny, I'm Wayne. Wayne, very nice to meet you. Very nice. Wayne, I can't help but notice that you have a blade on your hip. I do. Who are you prepared to use that on? This is for like if you need to cut uh, you know, some par paracord. Or... What about as a goof when somebody's changing in here? Uh, if you go in there and I'm, I'm taking a poop, you're going to get stabbed if you knock on the door. You're very protective of yourself when you're taking a shit, huh? Yes. You don't want to be bothered. That's the that's a holy moment. What if I had a knife and I came by while you were sh and I just cut this thing to ribbons. I don't know. Then the same thing, I'll just come blazing through there with the knife. But you're gonna have your and, pants down. And maybe a handful of like. Oh shit. man, <laughs> monkey tactics, Wayne? Yes, sir. We're not locals, by the way. I can tell, yeah. yeah you're not a local either. I'm, I'm not. I think the reason we can know that about each other is because we can't smell each other. Yeah. <laughs> Probably a good observation. Probably a good observation. Well, let me ask you this way. This is your lovely wife right here? Yes, it is. Are any of these young pups right here trying to dethrone you for the woman? I, I <laughs> That's not gonna don't happen. know. She has my bank account, so I don't think yeah. she's going to do that. That gives her much more reason to do that. <laughs> but I'm just saying, Wayne, look out for when you're out here doing your business. Yeah. Listen. My knife and toilet paper. Yes, yes, yes. You'll have your knife and your toilet paper. Yes. But listen for any creaking in the suspension. Uh, well, because one of these it's bastards. Ton, so it could probably handle both of them. <laughs> that would be such a violation of your marriage, Wayne. I don't even want to dwell on it any further. Yeah. No, we're good. I'm gonna try to. F my girlfriend on the end of the dock later tonight. Would you guys mind if I did that? Sure. This is a little section of beach you guys carved out for yourselves. I like it. Yeah. No cops here. No rules. Any 5-0 rolls up on me right now, they're going to get kicked in the nards. They don't really go down here. They like, they'll go up to like the parking area up there and stare out here. Oh, yeah. Like bitches. Oh, yeah, f pussies. If they do anything more than stare, I'm going to rush them like a wolverine. <laughs> What's up, Sebastian? I'm Danny. Junior, Sebastian Raymond Jr. Where's the best place to eat in town where they won't give us no trouble? Ski in. Ski in? If you guys want to go to ski in later, I'll treat you guys to a dinner. All right, yeah. yeah. Well, you want Sebastian. to have me rev my engine on your camera? Well, let's hear it. If it's not some good horsepower, I'm going to be pissed off. <laughs> We're wild boys! When my girlfriend shows up, I'm gonna have to borrow your car and be like, hey, baby, it's my new ride. Danny Mullen, dude, racking up subscribers one by one. If you're watching and you haven't, you better do it too, because Junior is. You bought this dock. Yeah, $1,600. $1,600 for the dock. And then where do you crash out here, Junior? There's a bed, like a fold out bed on the Tiki boat. Is that your go-to spot for sleep? If I want, yeah, if I want to get comfy. If I just wanted to lay back my chair in my truck, I'd just lay back my chair in my truck. That works too. But. Is it spring break every day out here? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're just taking a video of the dog. It's a cute dog. What do you like to do out here? Oh, shit. I just come out on the weekend and take care of my houses and check on them. You're a landlord? Yeah. Big ups. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the property values are bound to go up. I'm, I'm praying. Well, because we got the lithium now. Yeah. They're calling this the Saudi Arabia of lithium. Do something with it. Should we say some sort of prayer right now for lithium? Deities of Bombay Beach, please bring your precious lithium to the surface for us. May it be easy to find, may it power millions and millions of electric car batteries so that Evelyn can positively make bank out here. I want you to be the biggest Bombay Beach slumlord. I want you to walk around in a chinchilla fur coat with a cane just whacking bitches in the head. 
I do that regardless. That's right. You're late on rent with Evelyn's units? Oh, yeah. You about to get cracked. I need that. I need that. Yeah, five kids, baby. I need all that money. I just don't want no one to put holes in a wall that's really, you know, nasty, junky. That's really why I haven't gave it up. I'm going to take a look inside. I ain't got it together, so don't. Yeah, Evelyn. But I'm only a weekender out here at my old places. So. Evelyn, we have a big reach. Maybe we can get somebody who's looking for shelter into one of your units. Okay. And if they don't pay rent, I'll come out here and crack them. Hey, this is my son, Gio. Say hi, Gio. What are you playing, man? Call of Duty? No. You high score in this bitch? <laughs> no, I'm just looking at my clips. Yeah, man. So anyways, What's your KD ratio that? right now? Uh, 2.2. Is that good, Evelyn? He's got, he's got a 2.2 KD. I don't know nothing about the game. I let them do what they do. Have you ever killed a civilian in that game? No. Yeah, it's a bad habit to get into. Hands up means hands up. What does a white flag mean, Giovanni? A white flag? Yeah. And what do you do when somebody surrenders? Um, like, stop all the violence. That's good. You'd make a real good real soldier. Thank you. At least you wouldn't get court-martialed or anything. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right, Giovanni. Keep that KD ratio up, baby. Well, you know, my dad owned it, and then he passed away. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. That was so nice of him to so leave you property. That's yeah. beautiful. And then he was the mayor of, of Bombay. The mayor? What? You're the mayor's daughter? Yep. Evelyn, do people fear you because you're, <laughs> you're basically from Bombay Beach royalty? Everybody, um... Ask them about Evelyn, and they tell you. Wow. Like a chain of we heard that Sonia is pretty powerful in the area too. Well, Sonia owns a lot of property. Your property is beautiful. It's not mine. Whose is it? Uh, Sonia's. She's a, a big deal of a resident, you could say. Pretty much, she owns half the properties here. Do you and Sonia have feuds? No. I love Sonia to death, and I know she got love for me. That's her property next door, and we always just been. Yeah, like family. You know, that's good to hear, you know, because sometimes I can see there be competitiveness between landlords. I wouldn't want Sonia to come over here when you're out of town, draw a dick on one of your units. Uh, well, like I said, we all got each other back. Is part of you secretly hoping for Sonia to kick the bucket so you can scoop up her properties? Mm, no. Giovanni, have you ever thought about maybe, you know, marrying him into Sonia's family to form some sort of political alliance? No. Nope. That's how it was done in the Habsburg Empire. No. What if I was a womanizer? You do what you do. Like, what if every other day there was a different chicken-headed hoe leaving my apartment that you were renting me? That's you. That's me? Yeah. Hey, buddy. Because you got to protect that thing down there. Yeah, the dog almost bit it right off. Yeah, she ain't going to do that, but, you know, it's your dick. It's your body. It it's is my dick, yeah. It's however you do it, but you got to realize disinfect that motherfucker. This might be too forward. And, Kelvin, no, please stop me if it's real. too forward. Yeah, uh, be real with it. Spit it out. I want to marry into your real estate empire. Oh, <laughs> this fool here, I don't even have no. Ah, hey, there go my BFF for life. How's it going? This... I was trying to make my pitch for marriage right I'm there. Into... It fell yeah, flat. To the real estate, I'm like, shit. You yeah. gotta put that in there, look, bam, Bombay Beach. Bombay Beach, represent. Wow, that's commitment. Are you Sonya by any chance? No. Who are you? Crystal. Crystal, do you own a bunch of properties too? Big Bird. And just to summarize, Evelyn, people who want to help you out, they shouldn't vandalize Sonya's properties? No, shouldn't vandalize nobody's properties. Okay, so they shouldn't get into one of Sonya's utility boxes with a screwdriver and tamper with a meter? She <laughs> don't speak on them, but okay. I'm pretty sure they don't want sure. shit messed up either. Yeah, I just want to clarify because, you know, you're my favorite landlord in town, Evelyn. That's what I got to say. How's it going, man? What's up, dude? What's your name? Green, I'm Danny. I'm on vacation. Are we all? Are you a shaman, Green? Uh, I don't know if I have the authority to... If you won't say it, I will. <laughs> you have any experience with sound healing? Currently. Sitar. George Harrison was always my favorite beetle. Danny? Yeah. Kamartaj. What is that? Is that Indian? Is that Sanskrit? Uh, I don't know if I can tell you. I don't know if I can... Nice. <laughs> if the police still shoot us right now, they're real assholes. I saw them in concert once. The police? Oh. <laughs> the little Sting shoots us, he's an asshole too. Oh, gosh. I can just sit here all day. I don't really need right, to... The sunlight is just... I was over in the shade, and thank you for bringing me to the light. <laughs> it's kind of yeah. what Kamartaj is all about, right? You know, in the Lord of the Rings, not in the movies, but in the book, the Ents sleep like this. <laughs> they sleep like this, Green. 
You have to come by when it's dark. I have an ant right here that sleeps greenly as such. That's not code for anything, is it? Like, I'm not going to come over here dark and get a dick in my mouth. Whoa. I mean, if I did, it's your property. You can do what you wish. I'm not saying I'd be mad. Well, let's get back to the green energy. That comment was foul of mine. Where's Danny vacationing from? Danny is vacationing from... I know you probably hate these tourists the most. Los Angeles. Well, I mean, you're neighbors, so... Welcome. Thank you. Appreciate that, Green. So you're, you're astounding. You're, you're, uh, you're being friendly and collaborative. Welcome me into the sunshine. Inquisitive. Caring. There's only one plant that I hate, Green. And I see you as a keeper of the forest. The one plant I hate is tamarisk. You familiar with tamarisk? Tamarisk? I've heard of tamarind. It's an invasive species that's really messing up the salt and sea. I went to an educational seminar on it earlier today. Beautiful. Tamarisk. I'm gonna take off these godforsaken shoes. I need to be closer to the earth. Do I not, Green? Green, this is, this is wow. Oh, a Buddhist, huh? Uh, I feel like I'm just like a practitioner, appreciator of all the, I mean, there's threads of symbiosis through all of it. They say that all the great sages had something awesome to share. And I agree with them. Jesus, Buddha, Muhammad, why rank them one above the other when we can learn from all of them at the same time? Green, do you believe in soul gazing? You have beautiful eyes. You have ridiculously beautiful eyes. Do you see these? Look into the lens real quick. Interrupt your soul gaze. He won't do it, he's committed to the soul game. Coconut oil. That makes your retinas that beautiful? Or your irises? Your irises. Like oil pulling, but for your eyes. Well, give me some of that. You're a beautiful soul, Green. I appreciate you, man. I hear it takes one to know one. This is awesome, man. Bombay Beach is the best place ever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks for visiting. You know how I joked about having a banana in my pants earlier? Can like we see bananas? some of the I love them. <laughs> I actually have one in my pants right now. And on. It's no longer a joke. Green. That was nice, man. I have a rule with hugs that I never release first because you never know how much the other person needed one. More than I thought. More than I thought I did. Thank you, Green. How long have you been out here? So, Kumartaj has been my home for almost three years. But I literally just landed from Mars last night. Sure. So. Green, you are amazing, man. This is so nice. And I envy you. But, um... Yeah, maybe I... Envy is the wrong word, but... I appreciate your lifestyle, mm -hmm. and I want more of it for myself. We're all just showcasing our art and our masterpieces for each other to resonate. Mm -hmm. And like, so if I can inspire a single person to live, mm -hmm. you know, absolutely. So I think what you're saying, appreciation over envy, you know, mm -hmm. if there's 
there's envy, then find that within yourself and what can you do to mm -hmm. align with that reality? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, and yeah, that's one of the things I learned from Buddhism is that uh, the source of all pain is desire for a certain outcome. Just gotta let it go, you know? I'm gonna try to keep that in mind, not just for the rest of my vacation, but for the coming months. And hopefully I can take action to bring myself closer to nature like my friend Green. You are nature, my friend. Mm. And I can let go first. Green, what do you think about, uh, for, or like around uh, for dinner? Is there any places to uh, eat around here? I know today the Legion kicked off and they're having a spaghetti feed. Wow. It's been closed for a few months. But Green, I'm gonna find somewhere to eat, man. I feel so re recharged. That, that meant something to me right there. On my vacation, that was like one of the nicest experiences I could have asked for. Appreciate you, Green. Likewise, you guys have both lifted my day as well. What was your name, by the way? I am Shenanigans. Shannon. You can be shenanigans. I can be shenanigans. You know, Believe I'm just, me, I do shenanigans. So do I. I'm just, just call me Banana Man. Banana Man. Yeah, everybody's, nice been making, everybody's been making rude penis jokes about my banana suit today. And oh. Shenanigans is crazy, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I need a label. Here's my photographer right here. Oh. Kelvin, we're just gonna get a shot of me walking out, and then uh, this is Pimp Daddy. He's one of the locals. <laughs> is that Kim? No way, Kim! And I'm sorry, what was your name? My name's Kim. Don't drive down to the beach anywhere. Why is that? Because you'll get stuck. You'll think huh. you don't, and you will. Don't want to get stuck. I'll have to pull you out, and okay. it's too hot. With your bicycle. Kim, I can say definitively, is going to be the sanest resident we encounter here. Don't get the wrong idea, people. We hey, Kim, how you been? Good, good, good. You want to come to the beach? I'm going to... work my way down there. Okay. Yeah, Sunset. some of the guys who just bought the dock, I told them I'd bring them some food. The dock. They claim they paid $1,600 for a dock mm. and they're kind of camped out around it. Mm. And they were nice. Mm. Are they riffraff? Just come out and oh, say it, Kim. Totally. <laughs> they're probably riffraff. Totally riff -raff. We'll let you know. Yeah. Well, they're going to enjoy some spaghetti tonight. But That's very nice of you. It's, that is very nice. it's not too late for. Make sure and tell Junior it came from the American Legion. Will he not like cowboy. that? Tell him, cowboys. tell him, no, he will love it that you tell him a cowboy nice. gave it. Do you want to urinate in this at all, Pimp Daddy? Oh. <laughs> Seems like there's some tension here. Give me a box. Give me a box. You want to pee in it, Kim? <laughs> Women can pee in food, too. We can. It's not as easy. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, after doing all this work to bring our friends some spaghetti, they're nowhere to be found. And what's more, some tourists are on their duck. <laughs> Bullshit. Junior, Sebastian! You guys seen a few white guys roaming around look like they haven't showered in a while? Yeah. <laughs> we are in that part of the world, aren't we? <laughs> well. I guess I'll sample the salt and sea cuisine. Forgive me for the barbarism, but. Why'd you think I was gonna throw it away? Oh, I don't know. I, I... Strange things happen. I'm digging in. Okay. Do you want some yourself, sir? I'll bring it over. Uh, gladly. Okay, great. Maybe they were lying about owning that dock. Maybe. They might have been lying. Is that. Oh, wow. He just flew here. I don't know. <laughs> All the way up from the jungles of the Amazon, by the looks of it. Yeah, he's probably migrating, you know? That's Tinker. Hmm. Tinker, look. Come here, look. Look at each picture taken. Oh, he's scared, I think. The two of you on vacation out here? Yeah, we just travel around the country. Hmm. Yeah. That's lovely. It's really peaceful out here, isn't it? Sure is. I'm about to uh, make it slightly less so. I've got an inflatable raft I want to take to the sea. Mm -hmm. It's cool out here, man. It's changed a lot. It used to be so grim. Is that? Hey, that might even be green, dude. 
That might even be green, bro. It might, everybody might be coming back. Everything's dovetailing like an episode of Seinfeld. Hey, Green, what's up, dude? What's up? Oh, really? Yeah, we might take the, might take the canoe. So this uh, very nice gentleman has just given us a tip that this canoe is, uh, you know, it's ripe for taking. Okay, brother? I need that mouth to mouth sooner than expected, Wayne. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm freaking first aid first certified, brother. Hey, Danny, you look like you know how to do that shit, dude. Yeah, I'm pretty good at the rod in my head. <laughs> And two other guys who whatever. They can play with you. Hey dude. Keep on rocking in the free world, Junie.